I am using the following topic for my literature review, the impact of psychological pricing strategies, like charm pricing, prestige pricing, on consumer purchase decisions in fast-moving consumer goods, FMCG, retail. If you're unsure how to choose a topic for your literature review, make sure to watch the video above. It provides helpful guidance on selecting a strong and relevant topic. First, I'll be using ChatGPT to find articles related to my research question. I think ChatGPT provides more direct and accurate sources. But yeah, not all the sources are necessarily correct, so cross-checking is also important. You can see this prompt where I asked for recent, open access articles with a DOI. So I can directly access them. I also included my research question. ChatGPT gave me seven related articles. Now, let's cross-check all these articles. For the first article, I opened the link. The article title is the same, it is open access, and the PDF is available. Next, I clicked on the second article. The PDF is available, and the title and authors match. You can also read the abstract to check its relevance to your topic. I opened the PDF as well, now I'm checking the third article, I don't see any PDF here, so I won't be using it, then I follow the same process for the next article. The title matches, the PDF is available, so I'll download it, I'll repeat the same process and download this one too. This is the fourth article I have free access to so far, now for the sixth article, since we didn't use one article due to access issues, this is essentially the fifth one. I'll download the PDF. This is just a practical example of reviewing five articles. Obviously, you'll need to use more sources for your literature review, and you can repeat this procedure to find additional related articles. Now, it's important to have all your literature review references organized in one place, as this makes it easier to cite different authors. For this purpose, we'll be using MyBib. I've already uploaded a detailed video on this channel explaining how to use the tool. To begin, I'll copy the DOI of each article and paste it into the journal section of my bib. This immediately generates the reference for that article. I'll repeat the same process for the second article. For the third article, instead of a DOI, we have a link. However, pasting the link doesn't generate a reference. So, I'll copy the article title, paste it into the journal section, and my bib successfully identifies the article. You can see the title and authors match exactly. Moving on to the next article, there's a slight issue, it's not showing the author names. We can enter them manually, but let's first check if a DOI is available. Yes, there is, so let's copy and paste it. One thing I've noticed is that my bib sometimes doesn't separate the first and last author names correctly, so I'll fix that manually by editing the entry, now, on to the last article. It also has a DOI, but when I paste it, an error appears. To resolve this, I'll cross-check the article title on Google. I found the same article on a different site, so I'll copy that link, paste it into my bib, and we successfully generate the reference for the last article as well. All references are now complete. Let's move on to DeepSeek for the final step, where we'll begin writing the literature review. I'll provide a set of instructions here, such as writing in detailed paragraphs, composing a literature review, and including specific author names that I'll be sharing. At this stage, I only require a summary of key findings, a comparison of methodologies, and an identification of research gaps. Starting with the first article, I will copy and paste the bibliography and citation. This will allow DeepSeek to recognize the author and highlight them, making it easier for me to locate the relevant article. I will then copy the methodology and results sections and paste them directly beneath the citation in DeepSeek. I will repeat this process for each article first pasting the bibliography and citation, followed by the methodology and result sections of that article, all under the same entry in DeepSeek. This is one of the greatest advantages of DeepSeek. The platform allows you to paste extensive amounts of content without restrictions. Such flexibility is not available in the free version of ChatGPT, though I'm not sure if the paid version has similar capabilities. This is one of the reasons why I genuinely enjoy using DeepSeek. Of course, the platform does have some limitations as well, but I'll discuss those on another day. Now that I've uploaded all the articles, it's also important to input the main research question or topic. I'll enter that here and then click the search button. DeepSeek has now begun generating a literature review. I particularly appreciate how it creates well-structured summaries for each article, 
focusing on the findings, methodologies, and research gaps. However, I prefer that these summaries be written in paragraph form. So, I'll request DeepSeek to revise the output into lengthy, well-written paragraphs. As you can see in this section, DeepSeek includes detailed descriptions of methodologies, such as whether the study was quantitative, the data collection techniques used, and even the specific data analysis methods. Each study's methodology is followed by a discussion of the findings. Because each article already contains this structured information, I don't think there's a need for a separate section titled Methodological Comparison. At the end, DeepSeek also identifies research gaps by drawing comparisons across the studies. Now, keep this in mind, literature reviews are not just about providing structured summaries of key findings from articles. There are several other important components that should be included in a comprehensive literature review. So, let's move forward. Next, I'll copy the methodology and results sections from the previously used articles, the same ones we used the first time. In the instructions, I initially requested lengthy paragraphs, then I asked for thematic categorization, theory, thematic mapping, and identification of emerging versus declining themes. I also emphasized the use of proper citations. Now, when I paste those earlier methodology and results sections, please make sure to remove any elements like lengthy paragraphs and summarized findings. This content is copied specifically for the methodology and results sections only, we don't need anything else from it now. Once that's clear, go ahead and proceed. We now have a thematic literature review. Although I initially asked for lengthy paragraphs, DeepSeek didn't fully follow that instruction. This is one of the limitations I mentioned earlier, sometimes DeepSeek doesn't adhere completely to formatting or depth instructions. However, the rest is quite solid. It provides thematic explanations by comparing each study, and the theory, thematic mapping section is also well-structured. The only issue is that the explanations are a bit brief, but the good part is that you can extract the relevant theories and then conduct a separate search to revise and expand those parts in more detail. Also, the review presents emerging versus declining themes effectively. One strong aspect is how it compares studies side by side. If you feel the explanations are too brief, you can always request a revision, just like we did with the last section, to include more detailed discussion in longer paragraphs. Now, sometimes we don't conduct thematic analysis because our topic is better suited for chronology trend analysis. So, let's see if DeepSeek can handle this. The instructions will remain the same, I'll simply request a chronology trend analysis. Then, I'll paste the methodologies and results sections, along with bibliographies and citations, from all five articles, just like we did in the first section. If the DeepSeek chat limit is reached, there's no need to worry. Just copy the section we wrote, open a new chat, and paste it there. It will continue generating a detailed trend analysis. Fortunately, DeepSeek provides in depth, well structured paragraphs. It presents chronological trends with dates. Starting from earlier research and progressing to more recent studies. To be honest, my topic isn't ideally suited for a chronological trend analysis, but this serves as a great example to show that DeepSeek is well equipped for this type of work. I was also wondering if DeepSeek could be useful in creating comparative tables for a literature review, especially since tables are often used in systematic reviews. So, I tested this by asking it to generate a comparative table based on the articles I included in the instructions. The result was impressive, the table included the author and year, research methodology, sample and location, key pricing strategies, key findings, and demographic insights. It even highlighted key trends from the comparative analysis. Honestly, I'm quite satisfied with the results. Now, let's move toward the final section of our literature review. At the end of a literature review, there must be a section that discusses agreements and disagreements among scholars, any debates or controversies, as well as the strengths and weaknesses of the reviewed studies. This is essential, as it ultimately helps identify the research gaps, the instructions remain the same, except that now we are focusing specifically on agreements, debates, and the strengths and weaknesses of the existing literature. It seems we've reached the content limit again, possibly because of the length. In that case, simply copy the content, open a new chat, and paste it there, DeepSeek is generating everything exactly according to the instructions. 
It organizes the content by creating sections that highlight agreements among scholars under separate headings. It also compares different studies, especially where there are contrasting findings. Regarding controversies, it does a great job by clearly highlighting conflicting research results and methodological debates. Additionally, it presents the strengths and weaknesses in a well-organized table format. What's especially helpful is that it doesn't just list findings, it compares them with supporting evidence from related articles, showing exactly where the studies align. A major advantage is that you don't have to worry about citations. And if you prefer this information in paragraph form, simply request a revision in long paragraph format. We have now completed the literature review using DeepSeek. Since this content already includes citations, you can download the references by going to MyBib. Be sure to watch the tutorial video on how to use MyBib for references and citations. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the Research Vault for more helpful videos in the future.